guys and girls, what's going on? Uh, welcome to episode 12 of Down the Scope, uh, the podcast you can't miss. I'm your host for t- this week, uh, Viridia, and I'm, <laughs> I'm joined by my regular co-host. You forgot your name. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> wow. I will spin kick. All right. Five seconds. Of- <laughs> Five, Five seconds, seconds in. Viridia's forgotten his damn name. Uh. <laughs> Screw it. We're doing it live. All right. Uh, so, so first off, uh, we got Anakin. What's going on, buddy? Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, that is it. On. <laughs> no, it's uh, things are crazy. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a little under the weather this week. I've been working on a uh, a new intro for my channel. I'm trying to get that squared away so I can go ahead and get my my first uh, uh, kind of my my new relaunch of my channel going. I had planned on trying to get something out last weekend, and this whole week was a, a disaster for me. My house is still on the market. I wish somebody would buy it. If you live somewhere in Texas and you want a, uh, an awesome theater room and you have lots of money, come come buy my house. <laughs> <Lots of money. laughs> so, so when you relaunch your website, are you, like, shooting an intro out that's kind of like rave music and, and it's got, like, in the background, like... <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's, just, it's like Anakin, <laughs> the new experience. And you could be. It's like a Anakin laser light plus. show. Lasers <laughs> come out of your monitor. Forty nine ninety nine a year. <laughs> That's right. That's a pretty good price. <laughs> I wouldn't pay that for Anakin. Anyway, moving on. Zombie. Oh, damn. <laughs> Zombie, what's going on? Oh, finally, um, Turtle Beach replied to me. No, and a um, new headset. Yeah, I sent out my broken one the other day, and it's going to take around five to six business days to get there. And when they fix it, it's going to take another seven to 14 business days. So I'll probably have it around December. Yay! <laughs> she was in uh, right. Christmas presents. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think I'll have it around May. So, <laughs> so I have no headset. Right well, now. this just this just tells me that you don't know how to how to bitch and moan enough. <laughs> like if you if you bitch and moan enough at at these customer service people, they'll send it quicker. I'm sure. Yeah, that really does seem pretty damn bad. <laughs> pretty. That's yeah. a lo- it's a long time to wait for a freaking headset, especially one that's like. Uh, probably- I should have gotten the the extern the service plan or whatever yeah. they call it replacement plan at Future yeah. Shop. Oh, well. Uh, at least you're getting a new set, and we'll be able to talk to you on PS3 when we play some Portal 2. Anyway, moving on. Delta, what's up, buddy? <laughs> what's going on, man? Not much. How's the how's the, the channel been going? I saw you posted some your 100th video this week. Yeah, 100 videos. So, so does it feel like you wasted <laughs> some, some of your life now, at least? Like, Congratulations. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy I actually hit 100. It's, it's a big landmark for me, and it means a lot, you know? It's, Hang on a minute. Zombie. Are, are you guys eating popcorn <laughs> on the mic? <laughs> Sounds like she's... I think she just put her mic in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Delta, tell us about how you cheated to get your hundredth video on online. I cheated. Um, well, I, you know, I did not want. I wanted it to be something special, you know. But I know I've deleted a couple videos before, and I deleted a couple to prolong that. So I, I'll be around like a hundred, five hundred, six, you know. But it's a, officially a hundred as of today. Yeah. So. Okay. I thought I thought that was pretty pretty funny. I I would never do something like that, but it was pretty it was pretty funny that you. <laughs> no, it was back when I had the channel, like when I wasn't even posting, you know, gameplay videos. It was so irrelevant and so stupid. No, no, no. It, well, well, when you did it, I was like, "Hey, it's a good idea." You know, I really wanted to do something. Wanted to do something for my ten thousand subscriber special, so I wanted to go in. I was going to start just start deleting subs like crazy, like thousands. <laughs> I'm up to. Like, 11,600 so I was going to start deleting them till I was back down to like 9,000 you know 999 <laughs> and then put up my 10,000 video you know I don't think I would go that far <laughs> you <know>? okay <laughs> awesome. well, well anyway guys uh, today our topics are Portal Combat which uh, comes out on Tuesday <laughs> 
Fuck <laughs> Portal <laughs> Combat. <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, if you're not uh, if you're not clever, that's uh, that's Portal Two and Mortal Kombat. <laughs> and uh, we're also going to be talking about about the uh, the speculated Wii Two that's uh, kind of been leaked out a little bit. IG and Kotaku, they've all talked about it. We're going to be just kind of giving our our uh, our thoughts on what that is about and uh, what we can expect from that, what we do want to expect, and also we'll be answering some some mail that pertains to that in a way. So anyway, um, if you guys don't have anything else that you've done this week, which has been pretty slow all around. Oh, I, I wait, 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 I had something. Uh, me and Zombie put out a dual com. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, watch, go watch that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, go watch that. Um, I, I, <laughs> what, I'll tell you. What, what is it a dual com of? I mean, is it just you guys talking? <laughs> no, we just talked over. It could be did. anything. You know, <laughs> you just will never know. You don't know practice. until you click on the video. So, you know. I've always been wanting to do like a dueling com. Like you just kind of like you know. <laughs> You just really back and forth at each other. You're just dueling calm for the whole time. <laughs> that is a, that, that's a good idea. We'll have to do that. Uh, that's what we'll do during our, our Portal Portal 2 uh, uh, co-op. Exactly, yeah, exactly. dueling calm. Dueling calm. Sir, you don't know how to throw a portal to save your life. You shut your mouth. <laughs> I'll, spl- I'll splash some gel in your face. <laughs> I meant the bouncing gel. That's what I meant anyway. You splash gel in his face. Son man. Of, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! I think I just hang on. I gained like twenty subs, and they all came from San Francisco. <laughs> 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 oh my god well I, i'll tell you what i did i actually and this is going to sound really like nerdy but i beat all in sequence i beat every god of war in three days so oh, I, dang. yeah so i started i started on the psp with chains of olympus then i did went you played the psp one too yeah, all of them, all of them, both. Oh, of them. Cow. So, holy crap! Yeah, well, I want I, I I bought three, and I was like, you know, I was gonna throw it in, and I was like, wait a minute, I I can't do this, I haven't beaten two, and then I started yeah. thinking about it, I'm like, well, it's been a while since I even played the other one, so I already <laughs> had I already had a beaten file on Chains of Olympus, so I was already like maxed out, so it was like a it was really quick, and mm-hmm. um, same with the other th- the other three, but then I I put in uh, God of War two. Uh, it was phenomenal. God of War three. Oh my god! You know, I, I, I Anakin, I, I don't know. Have you played God of War three? Uh, you know what? I just picked it up. I, uh, I got it for you ten just picked bucks. It up. Oh my god! I know. You I don't know what you guys bucks. been missing. I, I have not played. Oh. It. I'm, I, sure, I, I, I'm sure once so I, I play it, I, I'm going to be like the god of some more. So I'm going to go back and go get the <laughs> other one. <laughs> I played the first ten minutes. <laughs> oh my god! God of War three. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, I, I think I might have to pull back, pull back what I said. Shut up! Jesus I, I, I think I might have to pull back what I said about Crisis. I don't know. That game has some phenomenal graphics. It really uh, does. It looks awesome. It, I put that in, and I was like, you know, I said that Crisis 2 was like the best graphics I'd ever seen, and they yeah, are I- phenomenal, but... When I when I stack them close to each other, it's just like I don't know. Like uh, the, the 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 first forty minutes of Gears or God uh, God of War three uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is just <laughs> phenomenal. Like it's just like crazy the the way that they melded uh, cinematics in with the gameplay. Um, that was insane. And then but but then you got Crisis. Of course, it's it's a it's a beauty too. The only thing I could find about God of War is that. You know, it, with all the great graphics, there were some really crappy textures every now and then that really pissed me off. Uh, yeah. Like there was just grass, like flat grass textures and stuff, and I was just like, ugh. But anyway, moving on. Let's go to our topics, guys. Uh, well, we okay. don't have a whole lot going on uh, after next week. We've got Brink coming out, but this next week is going to be pretty busy. Oh, yeah. uh, and I know that the cast collectively is looking forward to at least one of these games. And so mm. with that one, Pool 2. Uh, this mm-hmm. is a very, very highly anticipated game from Valve that uh, is coming out of what I guess was just kind of a little test game that came with the orange box back in 2007, I believe. Um, so uh, what, do you, what do you think, Anakin? What do you, what do you think is going to – is this going to trump your expectation? Well, I'll tell you, you know, it really is it really is going to be a um a tough tough game to follow up the first. You know, the first was the the thing is about Portal is it was a very short game. It was kind of a novelty idea. 
And, you know, for, for them to create a full-blown $50, $60 game out of that novelty that we all got, you know, four hours of gameplay the first time, three or four hours, something like that, you know, mm-hmm. that's, you know, that's going to be a tough call. You know, it's kind of a one-trick pony. However, I, uh, I really do have faith in Valve that they're going to be able to pull it off because, you know, they really sunk a lot of money into it. They realized that the, the community and the fan base for this game is just astronomical. So yeah. they've got huge expectations. But, you know, generally, I'm telling you, Valve hardly ever disappoints. So I, they don't I have my hopes. They don't botch a title. I mean, I, don't, I can't see one that they botched. Have, I mean, other they than... They really haven't. Yeah, no, you've got the Half Life, yeah, Half Life One, Two. The only thing they botched is not putting out Episode Three <laughs> of Half Life Two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They really screwed that up, and and like, uh, you know, that pissed a lot of people off, including myself. But you know, other than that, the games that they produced have been phenomenal. And I, you know, at first I didn't even like Left for Dead, but then I mm-hmm. bought it, and it's just one of those games that you're like, I don't see how I'm going to get my money's worth out of this. And then you play it, and you love it. Uh, with Portal, you know, it just kind of I had never heard of Portal when I put. Uh, the orange box in. I just knew I was getting five five games pretty much for the price of of one. So when I put it in and experienced the the uh, psychological, uh, you know, just the the psychological torment that Gladys puts your main character through, uh, and the just the hilarious, subtly hilarious dialogue. I, I was hooked, and then you know I go and I, yesterday I did I was doing some research on the game, just getting kind of hyped up for it, and uh, I was watching an interview with I can't what what is the the director of the game? Do you guys know? I forgot his name. Um, is it what a Valve? Well, yeah, he he he's the lead Gabe, of the Gabe project. Newell? Gabe Newell. Newell, yeah. I think so. I think it was him. But anyway, yeah. he was. They were they were talking to him about it, and uh, basically. He was talking that this game is just going to blow the other one out of the water, and he was telling telling us some of the things that, that are happening in it. And they showed some clips, and it's got uh, uh, crud. I can't remember his name either. <laughs> I'm bad with names. Like I had him, I had him there for a minute, but he was in the British office. Um, oh, the, mm. you know, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, no, it's it, oh. it's it's not him. It's the other guy. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, but he he will be voicing the the like character that is like Gladys in the single player, and I was listening to some of the stuff that he was saying, and it was just absolutely hilarious. So the 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 hilarity, the the humor is going to carry on, and I think it's something that they're going to play on even more. And you know, my biggest worry about this game was the length, like what like we were talking about. Yeah, and it was basically. You know, like you said, the first one was about a four-hour run first time. Uh, my Let's Play that just went up is only an hour and a half long. You know, it, once you know the puzzles and stuff, you, do, you you basically can just finish it pretty quick. And yeah. he said that this one, uh, this one is a little longer than ha- than double the first game, but then you've got the co-op, which is the exact same time span no, as the that. single player. So the the co-op is actually a game in itself. Um, which is pretty neat, but it also scares me a little bit because, um, you know, there might be a time in the future where you, you know, you don't have anybody to play that that dual partnership role with, and yeah. there's no computer AI to help you out, which makes sense because oh, it would be pretty yeah. dumb. So what yeah. if in the future you want to play it, but you've got nobody to play it with? That's the only problem I see there. You've got to make friends then. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's not the problem. That's not what I'm talking about. Is like, I mean, if I were to go back and, and say Super Mario World had a co-op, and I were like, yeah, and then I'm like, hey, Del- oh wait, no, you don't play Mario. Hey, zombie, oh, you suck at Mario. Anakin, oh, shut up. Oh, you got twins. You can't play with me or something. It's just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. If you ask me to play with you, I would play with you though. So. Okay. Oh. But- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> Jesus I'm here for you, man. I'm, I'm here. For I'm you. backing away from the monitor. <laughs> Where's this affection coming from, Jesus? No, but I'm just kidding. But anyway, so yeah, I I'm extremely excited. <laughs> Who the hell turned on the Lifetime channel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So zombie, what do you think about it? What do you are you looking forward to it? Um, I'm actually asked uh, by Delta here to do a. <clears throat> Uh, a co-op 
um, I'm actually scared when I saw the videos. Not yeah, that, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting, but... Scared that you're really, not smart enough? Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah. You, might get, <laughs> you might get mad at me for being stupid. No, we're going to get lost together in that, like, ridiculously, you know? Like, oh, I'm I've been be looking at those videos and, oh, like, I really think it's going to be... W- way harder in portal you know just with all the well, new things in it yeah and, th- and that's one thing that they brought up to the developer you know they were like well so so what what is the so we've got two portals in the first game and it's already complicated now you're throwing in all this other stuff they're like are you sure that it's going to be you know this is going to be okay uh, it's gonna be solvable yeah and, and he's like oh definitely he said by the time you even get to a puzzle where the um, you know the momentum gel or whatever it's called is actually used, uh, you know you will definitely know exactly how to use it. You'll be an expert at using it. And then playing through Portal again, I, I you know I realized you know the they do teach you. They they step you through yeah. every yeah. aspect. And by the time you're at the end of the game doing expert portal shooting and momentum jumping through portals, you know what you're doing. And you're like, oh okay, I see. If I were to see this when I first started the game, I'd be like, there's no way. I could do oh, yeah. this. Yeah. But they, they, they train you so well that I, I have no doubt that that's going <clears> to <throat> be awesome. Um, yeah. You know, the one game, the, so. the one thing that the game really does excel at <clears throat> is, is they, they basically, you, just like you're saying, they, sh- they, they do a tutorial as you go. I mean, basically the whole game is a tutorial, and they don't really, you know, you know how games, they always like, you know, it's just ho- so silly the way they always start off you know they, they yeah. act like you know it doesn't matter what world you're in it could be call of duty and they act like you 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 were just born yesterday it's like oh look up and down <laughs> you know and oh look up yeah. here you have a gun and it's like okay, yeah really you know <laughs> so <laughs> you know the gra- tutorial the great thing yeah. about uh, you know about this is that just like you're saying they kind of step you through and they get you used to things but at the same time you're actually playing the game and you don't feel like you're in some kind of, of ridiculous tutorial when you're obviously, you know, a seasoned gamer going into this. You don't you don't your intelligence isn't insulted, you know? Yeah, exactly. And and you know, that's one of the things he said. He said, you know, Portal was just a huge tutorial. Um, and they're gonna base that on the fact that, you know, Portal two you you were training for Portal Two, you know. Uh, yeah. There'll be a little bit of a tutorial, but it definitely won't be as long as this this tutorial. They're expecting you to at least know a little bit about the the way portals work, the the way momentum works, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I am extremely excited to to try that out because I don't know about you, but honestly, I, it's exhilarating to do the momentum puzzles in Portal. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, where you've got to jump from a high. Uh, you know, a high ledge or something, and you're like, "Oh God!" And you shoot your portal, it launches you across the sky. Those mm-hmm. are those are freaking awesome. Um, what do you, uh, Delta? Give me some give me some idea of what your your thoughts are on the game so far. Uh, so far, I you know just Portal Two. I am so excited for it because I actually just a couple of days ago I downloaded Portal the original because I never played it. You know, mm-hmm. and I've Blast heard me. all these things about. Yeah, it. I yeah know, exactly. Right? No, it's same thing. You know, I I always you know I've heard really really great things about it, and I just. I always loved the concept of it, you know, and I never sat down and did it. So I just sat down one day and beat it, you know, and I loved it. I like, I just am looking so forward to how Valve, you know, keeps this game going and, you know, what they can do. And from every, all the trailers, you know, and everything you're seeing with all the new things you can do, it's really looking good for me. I'm really excited. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Um, the I, again, I got to mention that the the story and the humor in it. Now, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can answer this for me because I don't know. Is Gladys actually going to be in the single player, or is she just in the yes uh, multiplayer? She's, yeah, she's in the player. single player. They, the the okay. character, um, the actress that plays the character, uh, came back and did a, a huge, uh, you know, huge voiceover for the game. So she's obviously a, a major part once again. I think there's supposed to be some kind of backstory. Spoiler! Spoiler! Oh. Yeah. There's supposed to be some kind of backstory here that, that you know, she it rebuilds herself. You know, the Portal 2 is supposed to be a quite a ways in the future from when the first time. Uh, right. Goes. So anyway, yeah. Well, I, I know that she's going to be in the game, but I was I was actually, when I was watching that interview, I got the impression that this other guy is going to be take her place in the single player more. <clears throat> I and think then she's sh- more like a sidekick, and you know she's still the nemesis. So yeah. before, when you didn't have a sidekick, you know she was sort of leading you through. But you know, even even in the early parts of the game, she started, 
you know, insulting you and everything. So I think she was still kind of the antagonist. And now I think this other guy, you know, the, the British guy, I think he's supposed to be more of a, a, a helper to you or something, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well... I the the preview showed the it, it, that he's not a part of the the multiplayer the the uh, cooperative no, play. So. She is basically the one leading the robots through because what she's decided is that she is she can't trust humans so she's decided that she's going to build a uh, some robots to do it for her and the whole time she's she's talking about her experience that she had uh, in Portal One just kind of re- relating and 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 letting the robots know oh did you know there was one part where they were like. She she was like, okay, go ahead and stand on the button and let it go down. And they're like, did you, did you know that humans actually, uh, they, they get upset if, they're, if their weight unit is above average? And they're like, <laughs> she's like, if you ever want to insult a human, just tell them that their weight unit is above average. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it's That's so funny. Funny. Because she's she, she trying, her AI is trying to, to comprehend <clears throat> human emotion and human understanding, but it just can't. You know, it's, it's kind of like with the companion cube. She was trying to get you attached to something. So, yeah. you know, she's like, okay, affection love love deals with hearts uh we'll just throw a stamp a heart on the companion cube make a music yeah. for one level and then make him incinerate it and hopefully that was so bad i <laughs> why did i have to destroy it man <laughs> <laughs> well see i was the exact opposite i was just like okay whatever and i threw it in there and she's like good job you, you destroyed it faster than anybody else good job yeah. But then you find those secret rooms, you know, where people oh, actually yeah. did fall in love with it, and they were like putting it as they were taking like pictures from magazines and po- posting the the cube over their face and stuff. Yeah. Um, there were poems on the wall talking about how she took them away or something like that. So it was pretty interesting. Uh, thanks for spoiling it to me, guys. <laughs> Just trying uh, to warm you up for the uh, second one. Th- thanks for not giving Valve your money yet, <laughs> zombie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this game is like three years old. <laughs> it's like it's like ruining the Lord. Hey, of the King. <laughs> hey! I still have. Hey, hey! Uh, Bruce on Willis Saturday. is dead. Bruce Willis Sunday. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Monday <laughs> left, and even Tuesday, like you know, I get. You should run through it, it, the first one. You should do it before. No, in, in I, know <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> There's no reason to play now. The story no, is the only reason up. to play and mm-hmm. shot. <laughs> you kill the companion cube, it's over. Yep. <laughs> no, believe me, that ending is definitely worth experiencing. I, I yeah. thought that was phenomenal. As a matter of fact, I I actually went and downloaded the MP3 of her talking because through that whole that whole last fight, you're really not paying attention to what she's saying. Yeah. A whole lot because she's talking, you've got the music playing, you've got the uh, personality sphere down there shooting missiles at you. Not yeah. only that, every time she drops the sphere, you're picking it up and it's talking to you. So I encourage you to, to listen to just her dialogue. It's pretty hilarious and scary at the same time. When uh, I when I was beating it, I was actually talking to you guys, so I had no idea what she was saying. Oh, yeah, you need to yeah redo that. Go and listen Do to what it. she said. because Do it. It's really hilarious. Um, yeah. Okay. But anyway, um, any more thoughts on Portal Two other than how excited we are to play it? Cannot wait. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to bring up Anakin brought this up a couple weeks ago, but uh, still, uh, if you buy the PlayStation Three version of Portal, not only do you get the PlayStation Three version, you get the PC version, and also they're integrating <laughs> Steam in with the PS3 version as well. That is a yes. big deal. Now, the big one thing deal. too, by the way, you know, I I thought this was interesting because when they when they did announce that Steam was, you know, being introduced to the PSN network, you know, it's like the only problem is because I thought, oh my God, you know, it's going to be awesome, but the store is not coming, you know, because obviously yeah. I don't think Sony is going to allow them to, to sell Steam games. So, uh, yeah. but you know, the very cool thing is that it is a multi-platform co-op, you know, if, and, and actually with one copy, if you have a PC and you have a PS3, supposedly you can do a co-op on one copy. And oh, by the way, you, get, you get a PC yeah. copy, a Mac copy, and a PS3 copy. So, you actually get well, three copies on the PS3 version. Yeah, my well, a buddy of mine was like, "Oh yeah, I'm buying it for Xbox, hands down." And I was like, <laughs> no, I, no. I went bit the bullet. I went PS3 this time because I wanted the PC version yeah. and the PS3 version." Um, yeah, Anakin, and, uh, so do you love PS3 now? Mm, uh, I, it's, <laughs> all right. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one game did it. <laughs> no, you know, I, I did actually go back, by the way. I said last week in, in the podcast that I was going to go give uh, Killzone 3 uh, another shot, and I did. <laughs> Um, Why didn't you call me, man? Well, what the heck? You know. Ah. <laughs> well, I didn't want to play with you. I didn't say you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did jump on just for a little bit. In fact, I um, I went even one step further. I, I went ahead and instead of doing my little gaming rig area, I uh, I went back and and I turned it on and put Killzone Three on my on my 67 inch TV with the whole 7.1 <laughs> surround sound thing. And I I sat back and I said, all right, I'm going to experience Killzone Three. And and yeah, it, it was it was a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Did you record it? <laughs> no, I didn't record it. I actually was sucking. I was trying to do the the multiplayer, and I was actually looking to try to make some uh, some gameplay. Why didn't but, you uh, tell us? I, yeah, I, man. I, I, I uh. grabbed you guys, and, and uh, I needed the help. Trust me. Yeah. Aww. I was there. I was. I'm only a call away, man. I was I there, man. Yeah, I man. I was in that battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well okay. so so we guys I, I i have to impress upon the the you viewers or listeners to watch your channels if you're if you're big into a uh, portal i will be let's playing the single player as well as uh Anna and i are going to try and get some kind of a co-op let's play going as well Woo. um yeah, and Delta and Zombie, <laughs> Delta and Zombie and Delta are going to be trying to do something, I guess, as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll be funny because Zombie Zombie's not very good at anything but cops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, how about we have a race, huh? Oh, you don't yeah. want to do that. You don't want to do that. I'm good portal, so oh, I we will, we I challenge you. I well, it's a race. I gotta take the day off. <laughs> if I have to, any I got, like that. I got hey, spring hey, break. Hey, Let's do this. Yeah, Come on. Don't pass spring break next week. All right. So, guys, leave in the comments if you want to see this challenge, and we will. Uh, we might do something like that. <laughs> a podcast challenge. Speed run it the first time going down. First time speed run. I doubt it. Yeah. We might <laughs> might have to beat the game once. That way, we know you know what's going on, and then so you can beat it faster. Co op. Yeah, maybe. Zombie, you up for it? Because I don't hear you saying anything. Uh, hear- <laughs> sorry, Delta, in advance. <laughs> no, we got. The, I have confidence. We're gonna do this. Okay. No, no, we, yeah. we'll, we'll just kick her out, and you can take Rad. Rad's getting it too. <laughs> I mean, no, if she's not, if she's not gonna back up the sides. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, the, the <laughs> Glados may be a robot, but she is alive. She's not a zombie, so I don't know how Rad's gonna be able to do. <laughs> Why did you have to bring this up again? No! no. And again. Ah. Yes, and again. God dang it. Speed. The uh. undead topic, like like he said last week. <laughs> just won't die. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next game coming out Tuesday, and I don't think that Zombie nor Delta are getting this one. I, I don't know even if no, Anna can. It. I don't think so. Which, wait, wait, okay. which one? Um, MK? MK, yeah. I'm all over it. All right, yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about picking it up. You know, I looked okay. at it when and I saw. I was like, "Oh, look at that! Uh, I think I'll have to get that." Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what was that? Was your processor overheating there? It took you like a while to get that. Oh I think she like stopped life. <laughs> Oh my god! I think I. I can't her. believe it. Pun- <laughs> Jesus Christ! I sighted her. <laughs> oh. oh my I'm god! Under the bus. <laughs> Good lord. In any case, mm. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 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 That's the uh. game that we are talking about, and uh, and so yeah, I played. I don't. I think I know that Killer God. I was talking to Killer God. He's all over this. Anakin, you're all over this. I'm all over this. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I have been ever since the game came out back in the day. I know, Anakin, you're more of a Tekken fan. No, no, no. The Virtual oh, Fighter virtual. and Soul Calibur. Yeah, but I was let me a tell Tekken you, fan. But let me I tell played you, Tekken. Uh, Mortal Kombat's right there, man. I'm with it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> so it's this this game. So when 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 Street Fighter Four came out. I played it. Now, I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan, but I was like, this is a good fighter. I could tell that it not only was it like two beginners can play and fight, intermediate people can play, but it's a game that if you want it to be, it can be an expert fighting game. You can jump in there. You can learn these moves. You can learn these counters and all that crap. And 
So with the rehaul of Midway, where they kind of just threw it away, they became NetherRealm Studios with WB. Um, they did the same thing. They said, "All right, guys, what we need to do is take a look at what you know what fighting games have come out." So they looked, at, and you know they did. You know they looked at Street Fighter and they said, "This is this is good." Yep. And <clears throat> they took. And, and I, I'm sorry if you liked. The uh, the PlayStation Two versions of Mortal Kombat, it ended with Mortal Kombat Four for me. All right, it was over. Once they stepped out of the arcade, they started putting out that trash. I'm sorry, it's trash to me. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> the The Deadly Alliance was okay. I played that quite a bit. I enjoyed that one. Then um, then uh, what was it that came after that? Uh, Deception came out, and they start putting these new characters and they don't fit. Okay, they just don't. I mean, they've got Bo Raicho, they've got Kaya, bull crap like that. And it's just like, you know, we we like Scorpion because he's memorable. We like yeah. Sub-Zero because he's memorable. We've yeah. got all these characters that are just so they're based on things that we already can comprehend. Uh, you've got Johnny Siva. Cage. You got yeah, Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shiva. The, the, oh, she's just Shiva. the forearm. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got so you've got Johnny Cage, who is basically the action fighter star, like Jean Claude Van Damme. You've got Liu Kang, who's Bruce Lee. You know, you've got you've got Sonya Blade, who's the the female badass you know just all around. You know, they were like, we need to put a female in here. Yeah, that throws jelly. It's, no, <laughs> that's. Well, I guess kind of. It does look like a pink jelly bean. Yeah, it's kinda. like a a purple jelly. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> and then so when she and throws then, that, your the other character gets in a jam. <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unsubbing for that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One more, Anakin. <laughs> I swear Damn to God. <laughs> I, will, I will edit my subscription, sir. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Look what you did, Anakin. I know. He's in a laugh loop now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. In any case... <laughs> my face hurts. Muter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so you got these memorable characters, and then with with the uh, PS2 versions, they start integrating these just crappy, just generic characters, and then by Armageddon, you know what they did was they took an idea that sounded you know awesome to anybody who didn't think a little bit deeper than uh, th- than what their imagination could come up with, and they they put every character from Mortal Kombat into Armageddon. And uh, in case you guys don't know that, that's over 60 characters. That's a lot for a fighting game yeah. that isn't made by Capcom. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no lie, right? So what I'm sitting there going is I'm like, oh, oh, this is you know, this might be sweet. You know, maybe if I get to do all these fatalities, get to see all this. No, 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 no. So what they did was they edited the fatality system down to literally a generic. It was as generic as it comes. It would say finish him. You start randomly mashing buttons or whatever. And it'd be like, you punch him in the head, you punch him in the... And it all looked the same. Everybody's fatalities were the same. It was like a create-your-own-fatality bullcrap. And I said, this is it. This is the end of Mortal Kombat. It is over. And sure enough, Midway Midway went away. I don't know if it was Midway, but it was um, the guys who do Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> is it, was it Midway that dissolved into NetherRealm? I think it was. I think it was too. So they dissolved. They 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 went away and they WB picked them up. And I, my my guess is that WB kicked Ed Boon in the in the ass and said, "Listen, dude, uh, we're, what we want to do is recapsulate what you did with the first Mortal Kombat. What made that game good? And we want we're going to take that. We're going to throw some next generation, uh, you know, ideas. We're going to throw some some new." Um, new gameplay aspects onto it, buff it up with some good graphics, and we're going to throw it out there. And by the demo, what they did was they took the best Mortal Kombat out there. In my opinion, that was two. They took that fighting system, they threw it in there. They took good graphics, they threw it in there, as well as a lot of stuff mixed from from Street Fighter. And um, it looks like a very polished fighter. I hope so. I'm excited. Me too. I uh, I was looking at the, the actually the the special editions like 149.99, but wow. it's light stick and a case to put it in, and that was Jeez. pretty cool. But but 
I, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know about the how far I'm going to go into that. I think the control will suffice for now. Um, but well, oh, wait, wait. What about what about? Uh, <clears throat> did, did you like uh, MK versus DC at all? I mean, did you did you no, try it? Heck no, I didn't. No, like I. <laughs> Man, you don't take out my head ripping, my spine ripping. If I'm, if I'm not ripping a spleen out and like drinking the juices from it, I'm not playing. Not bad. I'm playing. Hey, but you know what? I was a big Mortal Kombat fan. Uh, I played it on the PC. Oh, Holy cuts! Wh- How do you do that? <laughs> what do you shake your computer around all crazy? <laughs> no, it's actually so hard. Yeah, uh, we used to play it at school uh, against different people. You know, like what? Which one? I, I really. I, I, I guess really love it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter which one. How do you how do you do moves? Is it the W A S D controls or what? No, no, no. It's uh, it's the C O M B O keys. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Jeez. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so my God. <laughs> <Anakin. laughs> uh, You've contributed nothing but interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Anakin, you should dress up as uh, Raiden for. Halloween. I love Raiden. He's my favorite character. He's the <laughs> oldest. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he's my favorite character. Damn it. I was oh. born the same time he was. <laughs> I, actually, I, yeah. I think you're right. Unless, I don't know if Chinook is in this game, but... Uh, anyway, so... Well, who are your favorite characters, Anakin? You, yours is Raiden for real. Yeah, I, just... I really do. I, I love Raiden, man. He's he's just the coolest character, you know. And and Sub Zero was you know was always a cool one too. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Zombie? Even though you're not getting it, what do you, what was your favorite? <laughs> uh, Sub Zero, hands down. Okay. Um, why? I don't know. Why not? He's cool. All right, Delta. What is your favorite <laughs> character? Ah, ah, see, she makes her own puns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, that was a nice oh. Hey, that was a nice oh. one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only Anakin's Fundar could have picked that up. I, I, yeah, it, I didn't. It yeah. flew over my head. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that too. Yeah. He's Shao, Shao Khan. Shao Khan. How do you guys say it? Shao, Shao Khan. Khan. It's Khan. Khan. In there Khan. Now. It's Shao <laughs> Khan. K A H N. I, I, I like him too. <laughs> Like Shao Kahn, the yeah. bad guy, okay. Yeah, the bad guy. <laughs> what about you, Delta? I'm sitting here at a loss of words because I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> about <basically. laughs> Who's your... Okay. Like, I'm sitting here in awe. Like, what jelly being thrown around? And I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know uh, what's going on. Don't even... <laughs> I feel so like I cannot contribute anything right now. Well, that's <laughs> fine. Saying, I... I'm asking you right now, who's your favorite mm. combatant in Mortal Kombat? I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> That's know. what he's saying, Brad. Uh, huh. I have no favorite combatant of mine. <laughs> <laughs> combatant. Uh, no combatant yeah. comes to mind. None. Then, well, I guess That's I guess so- mine would be Scorpion or Liu Kang, but Scorpion's kind of overdone. I think that I honestly like it. Kind of upset me. Like the whole demo, it's just Scorpion uppercutting the crap out of Sub Zero in every clip, and yeah. I'm like. Come on, where where's Scorpion fighting back? You know, or Sub Zero? I was like, that's kind of bull crap. But you know, it, the, he, Scorpion is like the main. He has become the main character of Mortal Kombat. You know, yeah. with, he's with certainly the certainly the the mascot of sorts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got the catchphrase. He's got, which uh, for some reason caught on. I don't know why. It's so cool to say, "Get over here!" You know, I was thinking about that. I was like, that's actually kind of <laughs> corny, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, 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 it just caught on, and now it's not. Now it's like, oh, that's awesome that he says that. Why? It's just yeah. kind of weird. To, oh, he's to... yellow too, right? Yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, he's, oh. yellow. he's yellow. Oh, that guy! <laughs> oh Shoot God. spears out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyway, um, looking forward to that game. Can't wait for that. Don't know what else to say about, about <laughs> that one. I, I I love the bad guys like uh, Smoke. What is what are <laughs> right? what? that's his name? What is this Lost? <laughs> oh, isn't it his name? Smoke. One of them's name is Smoke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Which Smoke? The Cyberwerg or the Ninja? Um, <laughs> the one with the 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 mask and stuff. Who does the the crazy moves? Is he a robot? <laughs> Wait, I, think it's, he, uh, I think it's a robot. No, I'm talking about. The okay. character that does the crazy moves. No, 
yeah. a gun, and then when you hit him, and the, then there's one part where you like hit him, and they start like kind of they're kind of dazed looking. And they're like, let's finish him, <laughs> and they can do, like a fatality, you know. I actually love the the cute ones. I like that guy. <laughs> no, like the cute ones, the ending, the where they just um the baby just, yeah. Oh yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's yeah. stupid. I was like, what? Is, what is crap? <laughs> but then, but then, it's watch, so cute. Shut up, Red. Watch what the, the hell are you guys talking about? In the, the final I, kill cam or something, yeah. The final, final kill, kill cam. cam. <laughs> the final <laughs> kill cam. Can I just connect her now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're, that you're breaking up, back. zombie. You're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> she just said kill cam. Oh, my God. Uh, All right. Well, anyway, um, let's get off Mortal Kombat since Delta's confused for uh, uh, I'm so confused. Zombie has vague memories, and Anakin's <laughs> picking it up. Yeah. Uh, We'll move on to the Wii. I think we, I think we jacked that one up. <laughs> My God, you're such an idiot. Jack you. Oh my God. Jack you, Anakin. Oh, Jack. that is awesome. All right, so so this next one is kind of is, 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 this topic is about a leak that happened, and it's been cited by IGN, Kotaku, uh, the various very important sites, and um, so. Somewhere along the line, they've gotten some specs on the Wii 2, which is a high definition. Uh, it's actually looking to be a brand new console that will have support for the Wii games. Um, and it's got some some interesting features to go along with it, like the controller. They're, they're, they're speculating that the controller actually has a 6-inch HD screen on the controller that can also second as a Wii, uh, a Wii sensor bar, which I, I is making me think that possibly the the, the new Wii may not be as uh, focused with the the Wii sensor bar as mm. the as the previous one since it's it, you know may not come with one. I don't know. Uh, mm. Either that or the sensor bar maybe it's different, completely different controller from the Wii mote. So if you're not playing a game that involves a controller maybe you can set it in front of your tv um the thing the specs on this if you're curious are um it's supposedly supposed to have a power pc cpu with three cores uh gpu uh chip an ati r700 family chip and uh that that comes with a shader version 4.1 and 512 megabytes of ram and it's speculated that this thing is actually going to blow the xbox and ps3 out of the water that's what that's what they're saying. Uh, hmm. Again, guys, you know, remember this is all speculation. Nobody knows this until May, and that's even if they do announce it. Which uh, yeah. you yeah, know, even Nintendo- that speculation at this point. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, nobody knows. <clears throat> but this actually kind of coincides with a a user email that we got, or a, uh, an email uh, that we got from one of our listeners, and it was from uh, Tusky. I guess is that how it's pronounced? Tusky. Anyway, if it's not, sorry. Uh, it says, I love the podcast and look forward to it every week. My question to you guys is this. How much longer until you want the next generation console? With games like Crisis 2 and Battlefield 3, it seems that consoles are really falling behind on capabilities uh, for, for the game designers. As a PC player, it would seem that the PS3 and the Xbox 360 are not cutting it, especially with Sony's recent announcement that the PlayStation 4 is no time soon. It just seems like it's time to bring the consoles back up to speed. Thanks for the podcast. Thanks, Tusky, for that that uh, email. We do appreciate your emails. Yeah, thank uh, you. And yeah. we do read them uh, for sure. Um, the reason this coincides is because um, I, I think that in terms of consoles, the only console that may need an upgrade is the Wii. Yeah. Um, the other <laughs> consoles are not in need of an upgrade, and I, you know, it, it's way too soon for me to buy a, a PS3 or an Xbox. Um, you know, when it when we look at, at, at consoles, it seems like there's a steady ladder of growth. You know, when we when we look at the SNES or the NES compared to the SNES, and we see the time in between, it's getting longer and longer per console. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you're wrong, Tusky. Actually, that uh, the the game designers are falling behind with what the the, the consoles are actually capable of. I think that it's j- it's, it's more has to do with time. Uh, you know, and scheduling rather than the capability. Uh, you know, you look at you look at games like like Crisis Two. I don't see consoles falling behind with Crisis Two or Battlefield Three. I actually see the exact opposite. I, I yeah. see the, I see the uh, potential that lies within it. And mm-hmm. uh, basically, to to bring out a piece a PlayStation Four or or, or a Xbox Seven Twenty or whatever you you know you yeah. call that, uh, <laughs> bring those out now 
would be suicide. It, it's yeah. way too soon. I mean, we've got so much life left in what we've got here. The prices are dropping a little bit, so we can now – they're actually affordable. And now mm-hmm. to, to throw a brand-new console onto the market that's going to cost upwards of you know $700 for a new PS4 or whatever <laughs> would be absolutely insane. Um well, you so, know, here, here's the thing. The thing that, that to keep you know to keep in mind on this, you know, to other people who are thinking the same thing. I've seen a lot of mention of this online. You know, everybody's wanting to know when the next console will be here. But here's the deal. You know, there, there's there's about a three year lead time in in a game development from from concept to the consumer's hands these days. Okay, I mean, and you know, obviously production time is is uh, only about a year and a half, maybe sometimes less now when they have a, a game engine that's already built like the Unreal Three engine or something but you know the yeah. deal is you, you're talking about a console uh what how long's the um how long's the ps3 been out now what did it come out in, in 06 or uh-huh. What? uh-huh so sure 06 did. so here we are we're talking we're just now uh, uh you know over four years we're, we're pushing five years here now for the for the ps3 and right. you know if you're talking about you know and it always takes uh, at least a couple of years for the developers to get a handle on the hardware, to understand how to develop for it, to understand how to create new tricks for it, and, and really take advantage of what the console has to offer. Even right now, you know, Crisis, those guys were already saying that they didn't hardly have to, to trim back the engine uh, you know, of the game. It, it, you know, they, they were still not being able to you know, completely utilize everything that they had in front of them. So I think it's still going to be uh, a couple of years away before we see, you know, a game that's going to tax all the capabilities of the 360 and the, and the PS3 currently. I agree exactly. with you totally on that. Yeah, I right. mean, it's 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 obvious that that we haven't tapped into it. I mean, it's it's not breaking my heart that the next console's around <laughs> the corner. I mean, a lot of you guys I know are probably thinking, wait, 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 they're, they're not they're not talking about a PS4 yet. Uh, does that mean it's over? No, it doesn't mean no. it's over. It just means that there's life left, and they don't see any yeah. threat. You, and, and you got to look at PS uh, PS3 as well. They are outbeating Xbox and the Wii this year already. They're actually this yeah, is their year. Yeah, Anakin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, but you know what? I'd rather them take their time um, with a PS4 so that people like Anakin would, you know, <laughs> won't have to say anything about it. You know what I mean? All I gotta no. say is Sony is a four-letter word. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Well, and you've also got to look at it like this. Uh, you know, you're, you're sitting there wanting a PlayStation 4. You're wanting to hear about it. it you're wanting to hear about it because you're excited about what the future has. But yeah. if they were to rush it right now, it wouldn't be hard. It would hardly be any different. There would be nothing changed, really. You know, might nothing be, new. Yeah. Exactly. It'd be like, okay, oh, the graphics, you couldn't even tell that they were better. You couldn't tell that it ran better. I mean, I'm sure that they could make improvements to it. But by yeah. the time the development of the PlayStation 4 with the, with the capabilities that they would be putting into it now came out, they would have already figured out way better ways to make graphics, you know, and enhance graphics, probably mm-hmm. tone down the, uh, you know, tone down what... Um, how much power it's going to be using? I don't know. Uh, even even figure out better online, uh, you know, capabilities so that, yeah. that this isn't just a uh, oh, this game is finally out to download. Maybe every game now can be able. You can download them all, or maybe they don't even. You know, my thought. Maybe you get rid of discs. Maybe you yeah, yeah. get rid of yeah. discs. I already, digital, I already predict copy. that the PS4 yeah. is going to be a discless machine. You know, you're not going to have a drive. You get most a, P, a USB, yeah. uh, you well, know, a USB port or something. And that's yeah. what I was thinking. Why, why, why use these discs when you could you could even go like, and purchase a game at a store? You could go and purchase it at Walmart, and it, it wouldn't even be a disc. It could be like a little flash drive. Uh, yeah, you know, exactly. You console because Probably I mean, probably what it's going to be is you're going to purchase a little card with a, a damn yeah, it's just like a little memory card. You know? Well, right. not even that. You'll probably just go get a little a little credit card looking thing. You scratch off the back, you type your code <laughs> in, and it downloads. You know, right? But I mean, because you have to have that that uh, you know market aspect because not everybody uses the online feature. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I guess, yeah. No, yeah, that's true. You know, no, I I didn't even use it back in the PS2 days. I, you know, if if yeah, PS2 yeah, had yeah. been like, well, the only way to get your games is online, I'd been like, well, I guess I'm well, not gaming anymore. Yeah, that sucks. I guess so. <laughs> because yeah. I had an old PS. 
a PlayStation 2, I wasn't going to go pay 100 bucks for a network adapter, and end of story. And, you know, I know tons of casual gamers who they, they, they enjoy buying the new games. They just don't like playing them online, and they don't like getting involved with the online marketplace. So, yeah, they're all, there's always going to be that feature there. But when yeah. we go back to the Wii, though, the Wii was is the only console... Uh, next gen that is not in a high definition format. Yeah, I actually uh, read an article or I saw a video about someone saying that predicting how the Wii is going to die around 2012. Like <laughs> oh. no one is gonna buy the Wii. Uh, that's uh, I don't think that's true. Um, what you gotta what you gotta understand is well, that sale, sales are definitely waning though. I mean the Wii yeah, yeah, is falling definitely. way behind in sales now. They are, but they. But, I mean, they haven't really changed much. Uh, you know, you look at Xbox, you look at PS3, look at the evolutions they've gone through since we first yeah, had them. Like, like look what, at, what has the Wii done, you know? Well, yeah. It, A than, black Wii. No, yeah. Right? <laughs> no. Other, than, other than the Wii Motion Plus, they really haven't upgraded. And, mm. you know, you've got Xbox. They they decided, oh, we're going to come out with, uh, with a new Xbox, and we're going to bring this... Uh, this Wireless, or whatever you know, whatever it's called, I can't remember. I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> connect, yeah. So, yeah connect. And it's so, not wireless too, right? Yeah, it hasn't built in wireless now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they, they put that in there. PS3 is like <clears throat> PlayStation Slim. We're gonna bust out the move. These are actual. These are big pieces of hardware. You know mm -hmm. that that they cost a lot of money, and they're supposed to bring this this massive uh, you know new thing to the to the foreground and when you look at the capabilities of the Wii it's just not stacking up so what Nintendo's doing is they're like well you know let's shoot for let's shoot for HD and while we're at it let's shoot to kill the rest you know <laughs> I mean I don't know about you because you guys aren't huge Nintendo fans yeah. uh, as far as I know but I would love to see Mario in 1080p now that wow. <laughs> no, that would be. Can you imagine? Now you you cannot deny that Mario is one of the most visually stimulating games out there. I mean, when you're when you're playing Mario Galaxy two, and you're zipping around in space, it's one of the best. And the fact that Nintendo even pulled that off, those that good of graphics on a 480, you know, standard definition, uh, you know, console is absolutely phenomenal. Now, just think about what they could do with, with an HD, uh, this HD capability. Think about what they can do with that processing power. Think about how how much how many more crossover, cross-platform games can come over so that we users can actually be like, okay, well, I've got the kids, they've got their, their whatever, whatever they're playing. They've got their yeah. Zelda, their Mario, and whatever, Pokemon. Now, I can actually purchase Call of Duty blah 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 and play it on yeah. my Wii HD. Like the Wii's the Wii um you know right now like they get the really crappy <clears> sides <throat> of the game you know for the multi platforms at least you know the the yeah. cold black ops on the Wii you know it's like it's crappy not graphics even close, yeah. you know no, yeah it's what I'm hoping I'm really hoping that Nintendo just does this because it would really make things better is if they actually come out with a controller that mimics an Xbox or PlayStation 3 controller. Yeah. They, they've got a multitude of controllers and ways to, to control you know the games, but they don't have one that is actually suitable for online shooters and stuff like that. Yeah. So if they jump into a, a, the HD realm with a processing power that's supposedly better than PS3 or Xbox, they're going to need a controller to suit, and mm -hmm. they're going to need a controller that, that feels good to go along with Call of Duty and Battlefield and all that, if they do decide to do that cross-platform stuff, which I think would be the smartest idea, because I'll tell you right now, if my Wii were HD right now and I could play Call of Duty on there and stuff, I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I would be doing that. I wouldn't yeah. be playing on a PS3. Uh, like, I don't, know if I, could, Wii, I don't right? know if I could take out Imagine Horses, though. I, I, that one is just stuck in my Wii. I can't really... I, I don't play anything else. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> again, again, that's because you're an idiot. <laughs> so we've we've okay. gone over this. You know, you don't you don't take into. I don't know. How can you how can you be <sighs> as old as you are? However, <laughs> how oh. can you be that old and not <laughs> enjoy a good Mario or a, the classic the, the the virtual console on the Wii? No, I, I do. And you know what? I have a Wii. I I actually uh, I still play. We it. all have a Wii. I think. In, indeed. I'll do. Uh, three yeah. of us have Wiis actually. <laughs> Forget it. Moving on. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, I, I've got a Wii. I've got the, the Motion Plus. I've got nunchucks. I've got the, you know, I've got various add-ons to it. I, I bought the classic controller. Um, you know, I, I'm telling you, I used the heck out of it, and I had a good time with it. I really thought Mad World was a, a phenomenal game, you know, for a, a more mature game on that platform. And I, you know, I played the, the Super Paper Mario and the, the Wii Mario Brothers, uh, or Super Mario Brothers, uh, you know, Galaxy, Galaxy 2. I'm telling you, I, I've done I've done all the majors for sure on the on the uh, on the Wii platform. I really do think that um, it, it's a great platform. It's just so different from the other two majors that I think yeah. that their content is so limited. You know that it's not limited in in scope because they've got a million games. They probably have more games for the Wii than than, than either of the other two consoles, but. The crazy thing about it is that, you know, they really are missing out on that hardcore crowd. Not even really because anybody wouldn't play it on the Wii. It's just that the Wii couldn't cut it, you know, hardware-wise. So mm-hmm. I truly believe that, I, I feel you're right, if you, if you can get a Wii that is, is geared towards the same level of hardware, they've got to provide the controller. You know, if they, if they try to do the, this weird touchscreen, you know, wacky thing like a Nintendo <laughs> phone, you know, it's, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to fly. You know, they need an actual, real, uh, standard analog <clears throat> dual, dual stick controller, and, and that way that you know all the later games that we all you know know are coming. You know, Call of Duty 206. Uh, you know, in a few <laughs> years, that's got to to land on the Wii platform just like the others, and I think they'll be able to pull it off this to- this time. I really don't oh, think they should call it Wii Two. By the way, I think they should. Oh, they won't. I, I no. think they should come up with a new name. I, I, I think the Wii is great for what this is, but I think they need a, a mark. You know, to market a new name to get yeah. back into that hardcore console crowd. You yep, know, like definitely. I I agree. Do I you have anything revolution. in mind, Anakin? I think they should go back to Revolution. That's what, <laughs> yeah, gonna what would you name it, Anakin? Anakin? Yeah, what would you name it, Anakin? What said Revolution. I, I would seriously, oh. I would, I would really uh, reconsider the whole idea of the whole revolution thing. You know, yeah, I, I think so, that was something along idea. those lines. I mean, because that's what it's... that's what it was going to be called, right? Yeah, that was the original name, yeah. and then they dumped it, yeah. and you know, they they yeah. put the Wii. You know, I was like, what the hell does that yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah I was like, it makes you... no sense. No, it, it well, you, you, I the way I see it, we've kind of marketed it that way in our own minds, but it's just weird, honestly. It's like it, it means nothing. It's weird. We... Yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I it, uh, it appeals to the casual, you know, a lot. It, it, you know, grandmas were buying the Wii, you know, and everything. Well, but they weren't buying it because it was called the Wii. They were buying no, it because because it's user friendly and it's women uh, were buying it for Wii Fit, and mm-hmm. they were buying it for all that. They weren't my buying mom it used for Wii Fit. I know. Wii. Everybody's yeah. mom used it. Yeah. I mean, we have a Wii Fit. My mom used the Wii Fit too. Everybody yeah. did. Yeah. Exactly. And like, and it was so freaking hilarious. You know, I like my <laughs> my wife's family. Like, they're just yeah. like, oh my god, he's a gamer. What an idiot. You know, they're just like, you know, whatever. They they hate me because I game. And uh, <laughs> and so then I then we go over there for Christmas, and they're like, yeah, I got this new contraption called a Wii, and they're playing Wii bowling, and I'm like, what are you idiots doing? You're doing the exact same thing. You're shunning me. For, no, this is different. This is different. This isn't a game. Yeah, it is a game. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Nintendo just tricked. They, oh, that's all they did. They just tricked a lot of people. <laughs> they're, just like, they're like, all right, we're going to trick them. and it's gonna, This is going to be like everything. It's going to be a workout machine. You know, Wii's, <laughs> Wii's thing should have been it does everything. You know, that should have been their slogan, not PS3. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you know that's 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 my thoughts on it. That's the the cast thoughts on it. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts on what you would like to see from the Wii Two or whatever it's going to be called, Project Cafe as it's being known as now, Cafe. Come on, uh, leave them in the in the comments. Leave your your suggestions. Leave what you think, and we'll read them. We do read every comment on every one of the videos that goes up. Zombie and Delta <clears throat> will be posting this on their channel. Uh, yes. This, so. Uh, so yeah, go go over there and give them some love. Actually, if you don't mind, just kind of go over and click a like on all of them, so we know that you guys are there. And if you oh, write us about that console, lot. then we're gonna call it Weeder Mail. <laughs> oh my god, and a kid. Luckily, luckily, I get to uh. edit this thing. So. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm literally gonna post some crap in there that makes you sound like you're retarded. <laughs> so you're not gonna edit it. That's what you mean. <laughs> so you don't even edit it. I'm gonna be sitting there like, okay guys, go and go and thumbs up and it's just gonna be like, I like cold slaw. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> Anakin, 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> they're watching random shit. Anyway. Awesome. Um, <laughs> um, I don't think there was any more reader mail. Actually, I want to... I'll give a shout out to Michaela. She actually did send some reader mail in, but... We, uh, we actually covered that last week. She sent it before the episode went out on Saturday. So, uh, Michaela did send mail. So, thanks for that. Guys, send your mail to podcast down the scope at gmail.com and we will read it. We do do it every week. A lot of, uh, how, much, how much is being sent weekly, Zombie? Because you read it avidly. Um, we've got a few. Okay, that's a decent number. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. I want to see some questions in there, guys. I mean, if you want to be mentioned on the podcast, all you gotta do is just send us a question, and and surely, you know, we'll. Yeah, it's hard for us. Um, sometimes I see people asking questions in the actual comment section on your guys's pod. Um, yeah. On the podcast, it's hard for us to do it that way. Like, I might just see it, but you know. Right, and, and and keep in mind, a lot of our topics come from you guys. So, so uh, you know, if you guys bring up a decent topic, you know, we, we may take a, a whole chunk of the episode to talk about it if it's good. Uh, sometimes it's redundant. That's why you guys have to watch the episode because you'll send in a question that we've already answered, or it'll be strikingly similar, Sim- similar, similar. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk tonight. I'm oh, yeah. I got to go fishing tomorrow. Jeez, you going fishing? I'm going fishing. Sweet. Oh, Brad! How was the um, the tornado watch? Yeah. Oh, that was that was pretty tactic. Yeah, we lost power for like four hours, and then like, mm-hmm. and then we were sitting outside, you know, taping the, the thunder and the lightning, and then we see them drive by to fix the transformer, and then we just hear doom, boom, and we hear like the electric like discharge, and we were like, Are you serious? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh, the twister. They messed up somewhere, and there was a huge <laughs> transformer yes, discharge. We were like, "Oh God, hope they're all right." <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but yeah, guys, um, you guys have anything to add in the in the last last minute here? Mm, I just talking about the last topic. Um, I just I just want to say I'm not in any hurry for a new console. You know, uh, I really think that all the developers are getting really you know their hands into it and know exactly what they're doing now. You know. And they're really getting a hold of it. And I'm not in any hurry for, you know, a PS4 or anything like that because I see really, really good quality games coming out and, you know, graphics and everything. I, I think it looks amazing still. So, you know. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. Yeah. Indeed. 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 Well, if there's nothing else, then I will close the podcast. Uh, guys, good. We, 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 we've gone 12... 12 weeks now and uh we we really appreciate you guys you know um we're, i i know i'm proud and i speak for them when i say i'm proud to have you guys as fans on here um so yeah leave us your leave us your comments in the in the sec in the email inbox we will you know give you a shout out give you some some props for being a, a listener and a watcher uh yeah. guys i'm viridia these are my my awesome co-hosts who've helped me out through this whole thing and uh we will see you next week so take care See you later, guys. See you next time. Bye.